And welcome to the beer garden. And if you're here, you must like cheap beer. And if you like cheap beer, and let's be honest, why else would you be here? Go ahead and tap that subscribe button down below. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers as fast as possible because I have low self-esteem and I need the approval of others. And up this round, a request by viewer Keith, who wanted me to do a versus, one beer against another beer, and this is, uh, to date, the first versus I've done. And since I'm training for the Peachtree Road Race in Atlanta, it is the world's largest 10K road race, i am uh, got to work off some of those uh, COVID-19 quarantine pounds, and that's why we're pitting Michelob Ultra versus Yingling Flight. Getting ready for a 10K requires drinking ultralight beer, or as I call it, a canoe beer. What is a canoe beer? Well, a canoe beer is the closest thing you can get to water. All right, let's quick run down the stats. First up, Mick Ultra, 2.6 carbs, 95 calories, and 4.2% alcohol. Up against Yingling Flight, which is relatively new, the stats are exactly the same. 2.6 grams of carbohydrates, 95 calories, and 4.2% alcohol. Two glasses required for this, and if you're new to the channel, of course, our Cheap Brew Review, very popular pint glass, and I'm gonna have to keep them separate, so I've got a totally blank glass. Uh, this is pretty much what I anticipate both beers to taste like. I've said it before that Yingling is from Pottsville, Pennsylvania, which is kind of sort of near Philadelphia, and I lived for almost 20 years in New Jersey, southern New Jersey specifically, and uh, Yingling is a huge regional beer there, so I think I'm going to go ahead with the Yingling Flight in the Cheap Brew Review pint glass. Let's go ahead and pop the top and hear what we got. Oh, nice crisp, chiseled and cut open. This pours... Oh. We spilled a little bit. We spilled about two calories of the 95 calories. Uh, very effervescent, absolutely no head whatsoever. This beer is as flat as a girl I dated in high school. So there you go, no big surprise there. This is the Yingling Flight. Let's pop the top on the Michelob Ultra. This one, of course, is a cheap brew because it is a Michelob and it has the screw off cap. With pouring a uh, once again a, a lighter in color, much lighter in color, almost a lemonade type of a color. You got that cheap, soapy head, a lot of effervescence. I anticipate this head disappearing in less than 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and it's gone. All right. Uh, comparing the two, I'm digging the Yingling Flight, this one, uh, color-wise, much more than the Michelob Ultra. Again, 95 calories, 2.6 grams of carbohydrates, and 4.2% alcohol. They are identical in their stats. If this was a heavyweight fight, they would weigh in at the same weight. They'd have the same reach. All right, let's start things off with a new kid in the game, the Yingling Flight. And hey, I don't want to drink alone. Grab a beer. Let's go. Cheers. Uh, crisp, clean. I've got the beer at a reasonable temperature. Did I mention, by the way, I'm doing this brew review at six o'clock in the morning because I've got a busy day and I gotta go train for my 10K uh, right after this brew review. Breakfast of champions. <coughs> All right, I'm getting a little bit of malt and by a little bit, I'm being extremely generous. I'm getting absolutely no hops whatsoever. They kind of taste like a non-alcohol beer, uh, to be totally honest with you. But again, 4.2%. Michelob Ultra, again. Exact same stats, 2.6 grams of carbohydrates, 95 calories, 4.2%. Have you gotten your beer yet? All right, here we go, cheers. I'm getting a, a weirder taste on the back end from the Michelob Ultra. 
Again, it's crisp, it's clean, but I'm getting like a little bit of a, how to describe it? It's kind of like an oily, slick aftertaste to it. No hops, I don't taste any malt. And once again, like the Yingling Flight, it kind of tastes like a non-alcohol beer or perhaps a beer flavored soda. Neither are really that offensive if you don't like the taste of beer. If you love the taste of beer and enjoy beer for all its taste and depth and history, you'll absolutely hate these. But then again, if you're like me, you're training for the world's largest 10K, the Peachtree Road Race in Atlanta on July 4th, well, you gotta cut back a little bit and there are certain sacrifices you gotta make. Uh, I just got a, uh, like a whiff of a back bay maybe like a low tide, sort of like a, a seafood that hasn't been cooked yet, yet has been sitting around for a little while. It's, it's very subtle, however. All right, now the Michelob Ultra. It looks like somebody just poured a proper beer into a glass, poured that beer out, and then filled the glass up with water, and whatever you had clinging to the sides is, uh, is what you have. I'm gonna rate these two beers against each other, which one I prefer, I'll tell you that, and then uh, we'll give them a, a number rating also. A cheap brew, best out of five. I wouldn't re really call these that cheap of brew. <coughs> oh. I tried to get cans in both or bottles in both and I couldn't find it. <coughs> uh, six pack of Michelob Ultra. <coughs> Ran, I think, $8.99. I had to go deep in a 12 pack of uh, the Yingling Flight. 12 pack cost around $14. Oh, come on, Yingling. Come on, man. So I wouldn't really put these in the cheap brew category. We're going to put this in the fitness brew category because my idea of working out is drinking a light beer. All right. Yingling Flight versus Michelob Ultra. The winner, I'm going Yingling Flight. They're so similar, uh, but I do give Yingling a little bit of an edge when it comes to taste. Uh, the Michelob Ultra just it's nothing. It's like liquid air. It's you know if, if if during the world's largest 10k that I'm running if they put these in cups at the water station and I down in them at mile four and mile five I probably wouldn't even notice the difference. The Yingling flight does have the slightest bit of flavor uh, just edging out the Michelob Ultra. So, so out of five stars five being a very good fitness brew I'm gonna give Yingling flight a 3.14 out of five stars. Michelob Ultra, a 2.17. So hey, I'd love to hear your feedback, uh, your thoughts about these two brews. Uh, please comment down below. Also suggestions of other reviews you would like to see, whether it be a versus or uh, just a regular brew review. Please go ahead and subscribe. Remember, I have low self-esteem and I need the validation of others. All right, and as I mentioned earlier, it's I've got a busy day. It's a little after 6 a.m. I gotta go train for this Peachtree Road Race 10K. And it's a beautiful day here in the beer garden. Tell you what, go grab yourself a beer and you drink that beer. Cheers.